Now we are moving to another area of speech and that is emphatic, emphatic stress. Now what are we expected to do here? In each of the questions given, the word in capital, the word in capital letter has the emphatic stress. That is the given sentence, has the emphatic stress. So you choose the option to which the given sentence relates in terms of emphatic stress. Emphatic stress is uh, stress that emphasizes a word in the sentence to bring out a particular meaning. And it's usually used when somebody did not uh, hear one the first time. And then when you're repeating that sentence, you bring up the word or words that are confu causing confusion. So it's expected that in, if a light blue shirt, if a light blue shirt, why emphasize the word light? You look for a question that will necessitate that. Now, sometimes you may not even need to have recourse to uh, uh, phonetic knowledge to really answer that. You can simply use simple reasoning to get your answer. Okay? Now let's look at our uh, options. What type of shirt does if you like? Now if you had told somebody earlier on if if he likes blue shirts and the person is asking you what type of shirt does if you like? You won't emphasize likes, rather you emphasize blue. If you like blue shirt, if you like blue shirts. So your, your, your emphasis will be on blue, not likes. So you look for the question that will make you to emphasize, to give more stress to the word likes. So who likes blue shirt? In that case, it's a fear that you will stress, not likes. Does if he hate blue shirt, that, then let's look at the, does if he like red shirt, this question of D will make you to emphasize blue again, just like you would have done for um, A. So, now C, does if he hit blue shirt, if you had said if he likes blue shirt earlier, and somebody is asking you again, does if he hit blue shirt, now you will say no, if he likes blue shirt. So, you will emphasize option C. Option C, therefore, is uh, answer to question number one. Now we we'll take question number two. Nobody believe the rumor. Nobody believe the rumor. Meaning we are giving emphasis to the first word. Now which question will necessitate that stress? Take option A. Did anybody doubt the rumor? Now, this question can actually make you to also uh, to really emphasize, to stress this word. But the problem with this option is that it's not just nobody that you will emphasize, but you also emphasize believe. Because there are two issues, anybody and doubt. Did, did anybody uh, doubt the rumor? You say, nobody believes. So we are going to emphasize two words that are causing problem with this question. So option A cannot be an answer because it's only one that is stressed. So we leave question A, uh, option A, and move to option B. Option B, was the rumor true? Was the rumor true? That is just way out. Was the rumor true has no bearing on the uh, statement given. So in most cases, it was just the issue of uh, uh, looking at the person aghast, so uh, option B is also out. Now let's look at option C. Option C and D. Let's just look at two together. Okay? Now option C and D, let's start with D. Who doubted the rumor? That will also, uh, it's just like the option A we looked at earlier on. So at the end, if you say who doubted the rumor, the words that will be highlighted that will be stressed to be nobody and believed because those are two words that instead of believe that is here but if we take option c who believe the rumor you say nobody believe the rumor 
So it means, therefore, that our answer to question number two is once again C. Question number three. The student played well. The stress is on the word student. Now, what is the answer? What is the answer? Option A, did the student dance well? Now, this question will not necessitate stress being on the word student. So, it will be on the word play. No, the student played well. So, it's not dance well, but played well. Okay, so, option A is out. Option A is out. So, we we'll move to option B. Option B, what did the student what did the student do? That is for option B. What did the student do? That question is also going to give the same um, reaction as uh, question A, question for option A. The emphasis, the stress will be on the word play. What did the student do? Now we take that so that is also wrong because it will be the stress will be on the word play, not on the word student, since the person didn't hear that uh, it was the student. Okay, so it will be the person didn't hear that it was play, not not that. So you're asking again, what did the student do? He didn't hear the first statement. Okay, so option B is out. Now we we'll look at option C. Option C. How did the student play? This question, well, there's supposed to be D here. Take note of that. It's not very clear. We didn't write it initially. All right? So, option C will necessitate stress being on the word well, not student. How did the student play? And did the student play well? The emphasis would be on well. So, it means also that C is not an answer. So we want to take option D. Now, option D, who played well? Now, if you had told somebody earlier, the student played well, and didn't, and it's president here is asking again who played well, you're going to put stress on the word student. And asking who played well, the student played well. So it means our answer is Option D, that is our answer. Who played well will necessitate strength being on the word student in the statement the student played well. Now let's look at question number four. You must do the work now. You must do the work now. That with stress on the word you, you must do the work now. Now what will be our answer? Look at option A. When must he do the work? Now in Question in that option A, if, if we take that, that means we're going to stress two words, you and now. When must he do the work now? The answer will be you must do the work now. So there's going to be two words stressed. So we cannot take A as an answer because it's only one word that is stressed in the statement. Now we'll turn our attention to option B. Option B is how many times must I do the work? Now option B is just way out because how many times if you have said you must do the work now, you and the person is asking how many times for said you the work, it means you got it all wrong. You simply have to repeat the sentence, giving emphasis to as many words as possible, because there's no issue of the number of times in that statement. So we'll also we'll take option B as out. Option B is up, is up. Now we move on to option C. Now let's take, let's focus on C and D that are left. Okay? Now let's start from D. Must I stop the work now? This will not work because one, if you say must I stop the work now, then you are going to have Emphasis given to given to do because it's not the issue of stop or do. You don't know you must do the work now. You must do the work now. So emphasis will be on do, not on 
not on you. So option D is out. Now let's look at option C. Must he do the work now? And remember that it is you that must do the work. So if you're asking the speaker must he, the speaker will say no, you must do the work now. So the answer to question number four is C. That is our answer, must he do the work now? So it is the relevant question that will necessitate stress being placed on the word that is stressed in the given statement that becomes your answer. Now let's look at question number five. This is very uh, significant. Sometimes you can have questions that are really very simple. In this case, all you need to do is to look at the sentences. The one that doesn't have Saturday will be the answer. The emphasis track though is on Saturday. He leaves early every Saturday. He leaves early every Saturday. Meaning that we are emphasizing, stressing the word Saturday. Okay, now having said that, look at uh, question A. Does she, does she leave early every Saturday? Now, if you ask that question, what we emphasize is not the word Saturday, but the word he. Not she, but he leaves every Saturday. So, the answer cannot be A. Our answer cannot be A because it can ensure that the word Saturday is emphasized. And in any case, since the word Saturday is here, it means it can be our answer. Alright, we'll not take option B. Option B, does he leave late every Saturday? Now, that cannot be our answer. We should have a question mark there. That cannot be our answer because, again, the word Saturday is here. And this question will necessitate stress being on the word early. Because, say, does he leave late? He said, no. He leaves early every Saturday. So the, the, the option B can't be our uh, answer as well. Now let's look at options, option D. Uh, let's turn to option D first. Let's look, turn to option D and I'll come back to option C. Option D. Does he come early every Saturday? Does he come early every Saturday. We also have um, does he come early? Okay, so in this case we have the word Saturday again also present so it can't be our answer but besides that in, in phonetic sense this question will necessitate stress being on the word leave. When the person asks, you've already made the statement he leaves early every Saturday. And it's asking again, does he leave? Uh, does he come early every Saturday? And you say no, he leaves early every Saturday. Now we cannot turn to option C to see whether that is our answer. Okay, option C, does he leave early every Sunday? In the first instance, you already see the word Sunday. So long as the Sunday is not there, look at the word Sunday. Is here, not Saturday. It means this is probably your answer. You check out the other words whether they are there. He is in the statement. He leaves early every Saturday. Leave is in the statement. He leaves early every Saturday. Every is in the statement. He leaves early every Saturday. So Sunday is not there. So that's the only one. That means that it is what is emphasized. Because if you ask, if somebody has made a statement, he leaves early every Saturday, and the person is asking again, does he leave early every Sunday? He said, no, he leaves, he leaves early every Saturday. All right, so our answer, therefore, is option C. Mm -hmm.